guys! Colleen here, DIYer behind LemonThistle.com. Today I am so excited to share the DIY instructions for this giant party garland that I made in partnership with the lovely Ashton of Bespoke Decor a couple years ago for our St. Patrick's Day party. I posted the photo tutorial on my blog, LemonThistle.com, but I've had a lot of questions about it with St. Patrick's Day coming up again, so I thought that I would share a little video with you and explain the process in a little bit more detail. For this garland, you will need a string and a darning needle to string stuff onto. You will need balloons and then any other poofs you might want. We had tissue paper poofs as well as honeycomb party balls and paper fans. And then we also used feather boas. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to blow up your balloons. You can blow them up at different sizes, but we kept ours pretty small. The next thing that you're going to want to do is grab your string, put a needle on one end, and thread those balloons on by their tails. Now it's time to add in some of the other pieces that you have. We used honeycombs as well as tissue paper poofs that we got from Target at the time and some from the dollar store. Most of these come with strings so you can tie them on in between your balloons. And as you tie them on, you'll want to kind of bunch them up just to make it nice and thick. And you might even want to add additional strings so that some of them can hang down lower and make that uh, garland really, really wide and thick. Keep adding things in until you feel like it's a good size. You might want to hold it up every once in a while just to check it out and make sure that it's building the way that you want to. And then when you think you're close to ready, you're going to want to hang it up on the wall. We used nails in our wall here because it's pretty heavy. And once it's hung up, you can do some adjustments. That means turning all the honeycombs around so you don't see uh, where they come together and making sure all the balloons are facing out. And then after that, we went and added some paper fans. You can see the green ones there. And we also added a couple of feather boas, which are kind of a fun addition when you look up close. You can see some of the paper fans down below. Instead of hanging them, we actually just went ahead and taped those to the wall. And it looks like it's all part of the garland, but it helps it stay in place really well. So there you go. That is all that you need to make your very own giant party garland. Then you can go ahead and set up your dessert table and your cupcakes and you're ready for your party. I so hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see more of the St. Patrick's Day party, you can check it out on my blog. I'll put the link below. And make sure that you subscribe for more rad DIY.